Hey everybody, Christian Grust here. Uh, it's time for another update to my elk hunt preparation uh, video log. So it's been a little, couple weeks since I did an update. Uh, the last uh, video I put out was some of my vehicular type preparations. Uh, this video here though is going to be about, you know, getting my hunting clothing and stuff, uh, cold weather gear, that sort of thing, uh, you know, put together kind of what I the process I do for uh, getting that stuff together and uh, packed up ready to go so uh, we're, we're pretty dang close to you know uh, T minus zero uh, to get started on our trip so um, you know might be one more video after this one uh, right before leaving and then uh, you know of course during the trip I'll try to take some video and compile some stuff you know towards the end so um, anyways let's get started on some uh, clothing preparations Alright, so first off, for clothing preparations, uh, you know, where we're going to be going is pretty high elevation and it's winter time, so you kind of have to pack for, for multiple different weather scenarios. Uh, so, so one thing that I think is a must is a set of uh, snowshoes. Uh, so not necessarily the big, big, long, wide ones, but kind of more uh, hiking type snowshoes. And these are just some, uh, I actually I think they're some military surplus uh, French, French snowshoes uh, for military troops. And uh, so these uh, you can find online, they're pretty cheap. Uh, the other thing I got here is a set of uh, snow gaiters to, to go around your boots and the bottom of your pants, kind of keep the snow and the wet and stuff off your off your legs. So definitely a, a must having having those things. Uh, the other thing that I I picked up uh, you know before my last trip because I knew it was going to be a little bit colder weather. The last time I went in November. Um, I actually picked up some military surplus, the uh, U.S. Army's uh, extreme cold weather system, which consists of a, a few different layers. Uh, you have the um, uh, kind of a set of suspenders with, let's see if you guys can see this thing. It's basically suspenders and uh, some really warm uh, undergarments, and they zip all the way up the side. Uh, I used these last time and they, they worked really well. It kept me nice and warm. Uh, the other thing is uh, jacket and pants. Okay, so these are like a insulated or a down um, filled. Uh, this one's actually the parka. Okay, so it says uh, extreme cold weather. And uh, it's extra large, extra long. It's actually a little big for me, um, but, but I'm okay with that. And then I got a, uh, a fleece jacket, and this thing is really big on me. But again, you know, I just wear it when I'm going to be, you know, try to keep the heat in. Um, so this works pretty good. And then I have, of course, the uh, pants here. Pants are also pretty, pretty big, keep you really warm. The only bad thing about these, if you're doing a lot of hiking, um, you gotta be a little careful that you don't uh, sweat too much. So, the other thing I have is uh, these set of uh, coveralls, um, or insulated underwear actually, I guess they'd be called. Uh, so these go on the very bottom layer, uh, close to your skin, and uh, they, uh, Kind of keep you keep you really warm. So I'm, you know, I, I grew up down in down in Florida. You know, I'm pretty pretty warm blooded. So being out in the cold, you know, I got to do what I can to keep myself warm. And then I got a couple other layers here. So basically, uh, the only thing that's that's missing, uh, not in this bank box right here. I got to go get it. Is the uh, long underwear. So there's some, some long underwear, like silk weight, silk weight long underwear that's part of this, part of 
this uh, cold weather system and uh, I'll definitely be wearing those same. So after I hosed down all my hunting gear with uh, scent blocker, you know, I went through and I vacuum sealed everything. Um, so we'll see. I mean, unfortunately, you know, I have to pack all sorts of different weights of uh, of gear. You know, I never know what I'm gonna end up. Uh, never know what. Uh, how much clothing I'm gonna be wearing at any given time, so it's it's best to uh, you know pack accordingly. So uh, the only other thing that I I'll probably bring just in case, depending on how much snow, is I do got a set of ski pants here. So if we got those on. But. So that's about it. Just a quick update, letting everybody know what I'm using for uh, cold weather clothing and hunting clothing what my process is for putting stuff together and packing so uh thanks everybody for uh watching and keeping up on my elk hunt uh video log series uh, i should have a few more throughout the next uh few weeks month or so and um you know yeah thanks for coming along for the ride so i'll see y'all next time take care